All right, I'm going to do a video today on a Browning Golden Eagle Mark III not keying up, uh, relay not engaging. This um, video is only pertaining to the Mark III and how to check it or test when the uh, relay is not engaging. And this is going to be a cold test, meaning unpowered. The radio is turned off and unplugged. And it's only the transmitter because that's the relay in the Mark III. Don't need the receiver um, hooked up. Uh, doesn't need to be plugged in. The only thing you need to complete the test is you want a microphone hooked up uh, so you can key it down and do ohm meter reading tests. So these are going to be cold tests, unpowered, unplugged, and my meter on um, ohms. And we're going to do some ohm meter tests in a minute. Um, but first, I'm just going to, and this is only for the relay not keying up, uh, the relay not engaging. That's all this one is for. Got a customer with a problem that says it's not, the relay's not engaging. So this is to um, show how to check that. First of all, this is a schematic for those who uh, know how to read schematics. But anyway, that's the relay in the schematic. The bottom of the side wire just goes out to your mic jack and when you key down the uh, mic it puts a ground on that line so that's going to be the ground to engage in the relay when you key down when you're not keyed down with the mic that's open on top is the voltage going into the relay that's the relay coil so on top it's going to be about 220 volts DC high voltage if we were going to do a voltage test, but we're not going to do voltage test today. We're just simply going to do um, ohm meter reading tests. And anyway, that's the schematic of the relay coil. That's R62, a dropping resistor that provides voltage to the uh, coil. And then going over here toward the power supply here, we got um, R60 highlighted in yellow. Right there, that's R60, a 2 watt 1K dropping resistor. And over here, we got next to it R59, a 10 watt 250 ohm dropping resistor. And then going to the high voltage windings to the AC, we got um, R64 a 4.7 ohm resistor. So that's the schematics. So the voltage comes out of the high voltage windings of the power supply through that resistor, through these diodes, and into that dropping resistor, that dropping resistor, this dropping resistor, into the relay coil, the high voltage, and then this side puts a ground on it when you key it down. And this is just a picture in the sounds book. That would be the relay SR62 big resistor there above my thumb and then R60 mine I moved it a little bit on this radio cuz I um, recapped the um, the can I uh, can capacitor with a uh, little bit different type so I moved that a little bit but that's the area and that's what that one looks like and then you got R59 this big one going along here and then you got R64 this little 2 watt above that uh, diode uh, double diode there and I'll go to that 2 watt one first just showing you the positions of where everything is I actually had to move this out the way because it was kind of covering um, that R64 and what was this one R59 R62 this one is R60 underneath you can barely see it underneath there. It just goes across the um, capacitor pins there. But then that's the one that I moved. So uh, on a factory one, it might not quite be there. But that's a 1K brown, black, red, 2-watt resistor. 
And then I don't know if I did this one yet. Um, R62, 10 watt there. And as you can see, the output of that goes right into the um, relay coil pin there. And then the yellow one on this side, it would be the ground. When you key down, you actually just put a ground on that. So anyway, um, I'll get my meter and uh, I got Allard clips on it because it's hard to hold leads on it. And then um, with the camera pointed and key it down and do all that. So um, I got a foot switch to key it down. And again, this is all unpowered. The radio unplugged. We're just doing resistance tests on it. So I'm going to start over here at the mic jack. I got one of my meters, the outer clip, gator clips on just ground. And the other one on that yellow wire at the mic jack. And it should be open or close to open. With it unkeyed and when I key it down, I'm using my foot switch there, it's going to be a dead short. It's grounding that out. So open, unkeyed, it should ground when you key it up. If it's not grounding it, you got a mic problem there. If you're not putting the ground on that when you key it up. So I'm going to keep my one lead on ground and I'm going to move this one over here to the... Um, relay coil the ground side that's where the other end of that wire goes on the mic jack and I should get the same thing um, with it there open key it down ground okay open key it down ground now this relay coil itself can be tested I can put the uh, lead here if I can get this stupid thing disconnected got my uh, cable leaning on a, on the wire come on come on come on out of there yeah all right and uh, put it across the uh, relay coils and you should have about 10k 9.7k that doesn't have to be exact but somewhere around that 10k area you know 12k 8k 9k 10k 11k something like that um and since i got it across the coil it doesn't make any difference if i'm keyed down or not all the rest of these tests to be unkeyed and again everything's unpowered unplugged just doing a resistance check if you don't have uh 10k across that coil of that relay you got a bad relay okay if you got an open on there you got an open coil on the relay and that's why it's not keying down and now I'm just going to simply move jumpers across. So that's the voltage coming into the relay. This was what, RR62, I think. This one's a 22K. I've seen different versions use a little bit different resistor there. But anyway, uh, since that's a 22K resistor, 22 kilo ohms, and I got my meter jumpers going across it, one side here and one side over there, I should get about 22 kilo ohms on the meter and I got 21.2 and these um, resistors are plus or minus 10 percent so that's very well in tolerance there 22 K and I'm gonna go to the next one that 2 watt resistor under here and it just goes from this post to that post across this capacitor so I'm going to lead out one there, and I'm going to move my uh, lead to the other side here across that resistor. And that's that 2-watt um, one R60, which is a 1 kiloohm, 1K. And my reader late meter reads 1.05K, so that's very well within tolerance there. Good resistor there. So I'm just going to go to the next one. I'm going to leave this one on this side still hooked up to this resistor. And I'm going to move this one over to this resistor here, which actually goes to the leg of the positive of the diode. And that is R59. And you can see on it upside down, it's a 250 ohm resistor. So over here on my uh, meter... I should get about 250 ohms plus or minus 10%. I got 252. 
which is well within the tolerance of that resistor so that one's good and last I'm gonna go over to this um, one that's actually in series with the high voltage winding because if this one's bad you won't get any high voltage at all so it, you know it's a possibility if that's bad so I'm gonna take that one and put over here on this resistor and take the other one and this one is a 4.7 ohm yellow vited gold I think for 4.7 ohms and my meter went started over it shuts off after five minutes so restarted the meter and 4.7 I got 5.8 so it's a little bit high you know it's on the edge of you know needing replaced I may actually replace that one since it's reading a little bit high, but that's well within uh, uh, working range. It'll still work 4.7, 5.9. Um, you know, that's the trick. So that's checking all the um, ohm meter readings that affect the relay there. So if the relay's not keying, more than likely, I think it's going to be the coil of the relay is going to be bad, which was that 10K across the coil I'll hook it up to there again right quick or you're not getting the ground um, from the mic jack and that's that 9.7 K across, across the coil and I'm gonna go to ground again and when I key it up ground on that um, that side there so that's gonna be it that's pretty much almost all the possibilities that can happen where the uh, relay won't key up the other one that could happen but it's unlikely is if the high voltage winding of the transformer is bad itself you know if it's lighting up that means the fuse is good you know if the filaments are lighting and the radio is lighting up that means the fuse is good and you're getting power to the transformer but if that high voltage winding opens you got a bad transformer so that's unusual for that to happen and hopefully that's not it. Hopefully it's something simple like the relay itself or a ground wire. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. That's the um, code um, ohm reader, ohm meter resistance test that go to a Browning Golden Eagle Mark III uh, radio relay not keying on the transmitter. All right. Happy New Year. Bye.